In this video, you're going to learn how to set up your own custom shelf. We already explored that Maya comes with a default set of shelves that you can use that allow you to have quick access to some of the most commonly used functions in Maya. But to have more control, you should set up your own custom shelf for tool functions that you use the most. To create, edit, and manage shelves in Maya, come over to the left of the shelf and left click on this gear icon. Here you can create new shelves, delete shelves, load shelves, and edit shelves. So we want to create a new shelf. And let's name our shelf. I'm going to name this Environment Modeling. And click OK. You will now see an empty shelf as a tab. You can also increase a little bit of real estate inside Maya by disabling shelf tabs. So if you're only using one single shelf, your new custom environment modeling shelf, you don't need to switch between any other shelf. Our next step is to begin adding tool functions that you use the most to your custom shelf. So let's go ahead and add some of the items that we have used in the previous videos. And once you know how, then as we continue to move on and begin modeling, we can begin to add the rest of the items that we commonly use. So first, let's go ahead and add the outliner and the hypershade. To do this, let's go to Windows and you want to press Control and Shift, hold and then choose the item that you want to add by left clicking. So the act of holding down Control and Shift together and then left clicking on any item will add that icon to your custom shelf. So now let's go ahead and add the hypershade. Control, Shift. Let's go to Windows and we want to add hypershade. Now we already have the hypershade right here in the main toolbar, so we may not need this, but we'll keep it so we have quicker access to the hypershade. The next item we want to add is the custom polygon display. This is something that you'll be accessing a lot and it's helpful to have it as an icon to access that menu instead of coming up to the drop down menu all the time. So for this we want to go to display, polygons, let me tear this off and I'm going to press down control, shift and left click on custom polygon display. If you have some other items that you constantly use and want to switch on and off, for example, soft hard edges and standard edges. This is something very useful later on as you model. So maybe adding these two items so you can switch on and off very quickly. So let's go ahead and close this window. Let's go ahead and add a few more icons that we used in the previous videos. Press Control Shift and let's go to Modify, Freeze Transformations. And we also want to add Center Pivot. And then the next item is under Edit Mesh and delete Edge Vertex. Now we do have a shortcut key that we'll probably use more often than the icon, but we'll add that in and we can always remove that icon. Now in order for you to delete any icons from the shelf, right click and choose delete. So if I add something that I didn't mean to, come up to the icon, right click and delete it. Also a side note, you have to have your shelf active in order to add icons into them. If you have any other shelf active and you control shift and then left click on any item, that icon will be added into the active shelf. So you have to have your environment modeling custom shelf active to add icons into. The rest of the tool functions that we are going to add will be added on later throughout the videos. There are a lot of functions under Edit Mesh, Mesh, Mesh Tools that you will be using for game environment modeling. And as we continue on throughout the series, we'll add them in as we cover them in each video. To organize icons on your shelf, middle mouse click, hold and drag to rearrange them. And for more control over your shelf, if you go over the gear icon, left click and go to shelf editor, select the shelf that you want to edit. And here you can move the shelves around, delete them, move the icons around by rearranging them through here or delete those icons. You can redefine icon name, tooltip, icon label, and a few other properties to change the settings for the shelf editor to exactly how you want it to look. 
and let's go ahead and close this window. And the last thing we want to come up is left click on the gear icon and save all shelves to make sure that all the changes that you did for your custom shelf are saved. So let's go ahead and add a few more icons. These will be polygon primitive creation, similar to what we had for the polygon shelf, but we only need just a few icons. So press Control Shift, let's go to Create, Polygon Primitives, and add Sphere, Cube, Cylinder, Plane, and a Pipe. And now let's go ahead, middle mouse click, and rearrange these items, and move them up front. And the last useful function is to be able to access the options menu for icons and functions that have an options menu. So for example, on the edit mesh, anytime you see a square to the right of the tool function, this contains an options menu. And these polygons also contain an options menu. So once you have these on the shelf, you can left click to create, or you can double click to open up the options menu. And this will work for any tool function on your shelf that contains an option menu. Now let's go ahead and save all shelves one more time. And in the next video we're going to cover something that we have been doing but have not dedicated a video to and that is how to save, how to open and how to start new scenes and how to set projects in Maya.